And we're social entities in a way that is continuous with our non-human primate ancestors. So Harry Harlow, in the first half of the century, conducted a number of studies using non-human primates to try to figure out what role emotional connection and social bonding played in allowing them to flourish. So in the famous wire versus cloth mother studies, monkeys, there's a little one right there, were presented with two beings, wire beings with whom they could spend their time. The wire mother had milk and they needed to go to her to get food. But the cloth mother had comfort and if they wanted to be consoled, they needed to go to her. And monkey after monkey after monkey did what you see in this picture. Went, and the fact that you're saying awe <laughs> is evidence of the point that I'm making. So we think this is adorable. We think, there, in fact, it's very hard to control your facial muscles when you look at that picture, right? All of us are looking at it, seeing these big warm eyes and this expression of affection. It is part of the primate maturation experience that in order to become a healthy and flourishing member of the species, early social contact is crucial. And indeed, some of Harlow's more morally problematic studies involved subjecting young monkeys to complete social deprivation and discovering afterwards that when they came out of that deprivation, their behavior was incompatible with living in a community. Not only were they hostile and aggressive towards their peers, even with respect to the children that they had, they were incapable of engaging in nurturing. So one might wonder, as Harlow's student John Bowlby and his collaborator Mary Ainsworth did, whether there's anything that can be said about what's required for human beings to flourish that can be learned from the picture that we see in the Harlow wire baby cloth baby studies. That is, is it possible that for human beings to thrive we need a certain sort of warmth and interaction that isn't limited merely to the receipt of nutrients required for maturation from a wire mother. <laughs>